It was a week that saw Detroit and Michigan thrust into the national political spotlight. CNN hosted two Democratic debates over two nights at the Fox Theater. It's a crowded field of presidential hopefuls, and this was their chance to talk about the issues that matter most to voters right here. Coming up, we're going to debate the winners and losers, the highlights and the lowlights, and what happens next for the Democratic candidates. Here's a quick look at some of the moments that had people talking. Detroit was mentioned, and I'm delighted Detroit, Detroit is rebounding. But let us understand Detroit was nearly destroyed because of awful trade policy, which allowed yep. corporations to throw workers in this community out on the street as they moved to low-wage countries. So look, let's, let's be clear about this. We are the Democrats. We are not about trying to take away health care from anyone. That's what the Republicans are trying to do. And we should stop using Republican talking points in order to talk with each other about how to best provide that health care. And let's be very clear about this. When Vice President Biden was in the United States Senate working with segregationists, to oppose busing, which was the vehicle by which we would integrate America's public schools. Had I been in the United States Senate at that time, I would have been completely on the other side of the aisle. And let's be clear about this. Had those segregationists their way, I would not be a member of the United States Senate, Cory Booker would not be a member of the United States Senate, and Barack Obama would not have been in the position to nominate him to the title he now holds. Obamacare took care of 20 million people right off the bat, 100 million people with pre-existing conditions. And in fact, what we got is a public option that in fact would allow anybody to buy in. No one has to keep their private insurance. They can buy into this plan and they can buy into it at, with a thousand dollar deductible and let, never have to pay more than 8.5% of their income when they do it. And if they don't have any money, they'll get in free. So this idea is a bunch of malarkey bunch of malarkey. How many times have we heard that word out of Joe Biden's mouth? Uh, let's bring in one Detroit contributor, Nolan Finley of the Detroit News, and we have two special guests, Kim Trent, who is senior VP at the public affairs firm Compass Strategies, and political strategist Howard Edelson, founder of the Edelson Group. Thanks, all of you, for being here. Thanks for having us. All right, Nolan, I'm going to start with you mm -hmm. because I know you were watching to make your choice about which Democrat you're going to vote for next uh, I was March. having a big time. <laughs> <laughs> a big time Who sealed the deal for you? <laughs> you know, I thought, and, and Howard and I spoke earlier in the week about what Joe Biden needed to do. Yeah. I thought last night Joe Biden did exactly what he needed to do. He stood there. He took the attacks. He didn't get rattled. He answered every, every issue that was raised in his fashion. Uh, but he didn't, get, he didn't get knocked down. Yeah. And I think if you're the front runner coming in and you don't get knocked down, you win. Uh, I didn't see anybody, anybody who really moved sharply up. Yeah, yeah. In my opinion, or probably in public opinion, yeah. but over I, the last two I, nights. You know, it was interesting because uh, they had to have two nights because they have so many candidates. Yeah. Some candidates got a chance to take after Joe Biden uh, mm -hmm. directly. The, the first night you had Warren uh, and Sanders on the stage, and they couldn't do that uh, as as directly. But th but that was really, I mean, it worked out really well. I know it was a random draw, supposedly. But you needed Sanders and Warren together because this isn't just everybody against Joe Biden. You're going to have to winnow out that progressive field. You can't have both uh, Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren in this race, if you're going to beat Joe Biden, one of them is going. One of them is going to have to prevail yeah. because it, together uh, they have enough. There's enough progressive support to give Joe Biden a real challenge. As long as they're dividing that do that vote, he's safe. Yeah, uh, Kim. Um, I thought that I thought Joe Biden definitely did not get knocked down, yeah. that, mm -hmm. and I do think he did a incredible job. I do think, you know, one thing that I think is sort of odd about him, he seems to get a little rattled when mm -hmm. you talk about specific things from his past, particularly things mm -hmm. that he said back in the 70s mm -hmm. when, you know, everyone has evolved. And it's kind of odd that he seems to be reluctant to just say, I've evolved in my thinking since then. Um, <laughs> you know, like the question about women working and how he yeah. thought that they would tear at the fabric. I mean, we know that he doesn't still think that. Right. Why not just say that instead of saying, well, that was a long time ago. Well, we know it was a long time ago. Has your opinion changed? Yeah. And, and I, you know, it was just an odd thing to not be able to just own up to. And he seemed to, to try to say, well, I didn't really mean that even then, which didn't make a lot of sense because, I mean, what he said was pretty clear. Right. Uh, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't square, I think, with and people. And I think just watching. given the president we have now who is 
also very reluctant Lies to all the time. ever think yeah. that he should change his mind about anything, it would have been a nice contrast to say, well, you know, I thought that then, and, yeah. you know, my thinking has involved. My, my wife, he, he did say that his wife worked. Both of his yeah, wives worked, Howard, but, I thought that was a very effective response. Both of his wives had worked, his yeah. mother had worked. I mean, I thought he handled that yeah. Very yeah, well, that's, what, that's that. what happened with his family, but mm -hmm. are you going to give support to but other families? You're talking about else. a person who, whether he supports working women or not, his wife worked all through the White House, and he noted, noted yeah. that. Yeah, and, and as you pointed out, you know, he had one job to do. He had a show that he yeah. had energy and that he could throw a punch and take a punch, and he did that. He did. And I think what gets him uh, off balance a little bit is, you know, he's got a long record. He's proud of it. And at the time, uh, he was a leader. And so you can cherry pick anything 20, 30 years ago and take it out of context. And that's what people are doing. And I think Barack Obama put, uh, it summed it up very well. Democrats have to be careful not going in a circular firing mm -hmm. squad. Yeah. And a little bit of last night and the night before was just about that.